What's up everyone? I'm the Kaijin Okami from the Tokyo Animation News Network and this is a quick review for A Quiet Place Day 1. This video is brought to you by the Kaji no Kami store, creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. You can buy all kinds of cool Kaji no Kami merchandise. We've got t-shirts, notebooks, pens, water bottles, and a poster. Check it out, and thank you for your business. Now back to the review. A Quiet Place Day One is the sequel that's a prequel that's a sequel but takes place at the same time of A Quiet Place 2 and A Quiet Place 1 but is set in the big city of New York instead of a smaller town in upstate New York. Confused? It's actually self-explanatory. They're in New York City. You know they're in New York City because it, they tell you it's New York City and everything is loud and booming and loud and booming and the New York stuff. And there's New York pizza. So sad for what happens to the pizza. The poor pizza. Won't someone think of the pizza? And I mean the real pizza, not that fake crap that they think they have out here in Colorado. Or that lasagna that they call pizza that you can drown in in Chicago. Think of the pizza man. Anyway, so A Quiet Place Day One is the story about a cancer, pa a terminally ill cancer patient who is a poet. She is in the city with a group from the hospital she's at. When all hell breaks loose, these alien creatures come down from the sky and it's just to show her survival or trying to survive with her cat. They come and she ends up befriending this other guy who is visit, who is visiting from England, so he's all alone, and they're trying to get out of the city, and they it's been discovered that noise is what attracts the aliens, and shit goes down like that. I mean, you, if you've seen one and two, you know what to expect. I will say, I actually think I might like this one the best of the three, just because there were so many, there was so much more atmosphere going on. There's one scene where there's just smoke everywhere from an explosion and you would only get to hear the creatures popping up and seeing people getting pulled in. You don't actually know what exactly is going on. Even though we know what these creatures look like, it was still pretty cool. There's also a scene in a subway that makes me think of The Last of Us with the clickers. Yes, it does kind of retread some areas that the first two movies did but I really love that they went back to a horror approach whereas the second one went more towards kind of like a slightly actiony approach and it was it was for the better it did a really good job we got to see another perspective of this alien invasion is it groundbreaking no but did I have a good time oh hell yeah it was definitely a really good time Musically, it was pretty good. Atmosphere, like I said, was really incredible. That Now, obviously, you do have to suspend your disbelief because the cat is like the quietest cat ever. It never meows once and always moves where the girl wants it to, which that's not how a cat works. But overall, I really enjoyed it. It's definitely a kick-ass movie, definitely worth watching, especially if you like the first two. I'm going to give A Quiet Place an 8 out of 10. I know this is a very quick, quickie review, but that's how this one is. So, what did you think of A Quiet Place Day 1? Did you see it? Did you watch the others? Do you like the series? Did you find it interesting? Let me know in the comments. Click like, subscribe, the bell notification, whatever else YouTube has you clicking in to support me. You can support me on Patreon and Blue Sky at Toku AAN Network. And then Discord, Facebook, Instagram at Kaiju no Kami. And my website, creativitybydesignllc.com. 
And then you can buy cool Kaiju no Kami merchandise at creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. There's also a link in the description below. And until next time, bye.